Does Jason have Michael with him? I'm going to take you to him. I want you uh, to explain his options. He's already uh, set on fighting for Michael, no matter what. You disagree? It's not my call. Does he understand that if the biological mother is not on his side, that all he'll get from fighting is badly hurt? Getting hurt is, is a risk Jason will take in a heartbeat, so don't waste your breath telling him. What he needs to hear from you is what the judge is going to look at and zero in on what works best for him. What did Jason say when you told him you were bringing me into this? He knows he needs all the help he can get. Do you understand that if a custody judge has any reason to suspect that Jason has returned to his former line of work, that the court will turn on him faster than you can hang up your phone? Corinthos Morgan Imports had better be legit. We wouldn't do anything to threaten his chances with Michael. It's legit. It is. So if a judge decides to bring in a team of auditors or bloodhounds, I won't have to call you ahead of time? No. Good. Anything else? Yeah, let's see if Jason says the same thing. <clears throat> I uh, brought a secret point. Where's Michael? Upstairs taking a nap. Thanks for letting us meet here. I, I want to help. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Davis has agreed to uh, represent you in your custody case. You asked her? Uh, yeah. Well, it's nice of you to come over, but I don't ever want you speaking for me. You can bill me for your time or I can pay you now. Or why she's here, you can let her say what she's got to say. Sonny, I already have lawyers. Those people do family law. The Cormains aren't going to come after you like family. They're going to come shooting. And you need a criminal lawyer who can shoot back. No offense. Is your problem with her the Tony Jones case? Uh, yeah, right. The guy who really did kidnap Michael practically got a walk because of her. Well, that's exactly why you need her. You don't have to like her. You just have to win. She's the enemy. Jason, Alexis isn't your enemy. I am hardly a fan, but uh, we do need to think of Michael. You are honest, and you are responsible, and you have a code of ethics. So you do need a lawyer who's none of those things. Alexis is it. The way this case goes will affect the rest of Michael's life. Alexis, I want to hear from you. No, you know what? Give me one good reason why I should trust you. Despite what my former sister-in-law thinks, I think that I'm not without ethics. I allowed myself to be intimidated into defending Tony Jones. I went against my principal, and I'm not very proud of that win at all. And in most cases, I wouldn't go near a client that would make a child suffer. Now, if I can make it so that Michael could be with a father that he loves, it would allow me to make amends. Ms. Davis, I'm sure you're smart. You said you defended Dr. Jones because you were backed into a corner. This is the biggest fight I've ever been in. And I don't want to wonder if last night you got backed in a corner and sold me out. Sure, you can be sorry for it later, but that's not going to help. I respect your advice, both of you. I don't think so. You're obviously very smart, too, Jason. Because the fact is, I don't think I can get you custody of your son. Since I'm here, however, I will give you my take on the situation. If you'd like, you can listen, you can throw it in the trash. Since I'm not your attorney, I don't care. Your legal rights are limited. All things being fair, no court will give a child to the custodial parent over the biological parents, especially given the prejudice the court will have against your past line of work. Well, his past line of work is that he was a mechanic. And his new business is that he, he imports coffee, which is going to be the cleanest run operation ever to submit an IRS form. 
That had better be the case. Even still, that doesn't make you the biological parent. Now, all your brother, all Carly has to do is show that they can give Michael a healthy home. And with a quarter main steamroller, that's not going to be a problem. So you're saying I'm out? As full-time guardian, most likely, yes. Now, if you approach this at an angle, with the right argument, a judge can rule that you get regular visits with Michael. Well, what's best for Michael is the home he's already got. I have him right now. The Quartermains don't. I'm going to keep it that way. You understand this is going to get ugly, don't you? As long as it doesn't touch Michael, I've got no problem with that. You're going to risk everything, Jason. Hey, I have to try. How can, how can I just let Michael go into that house without fighting? I wish you luck. I do. From what I've observed, I think you are the better parent. And for the sake of kids all over this world that have missed out on that, I hope you win. I think you should stay here. I'm going to call a cab. No, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll call. You sure this is a job you'd want? Frankly, this is a job that I would love. All right. Let's give it a try. Right now, I'm going to go see Carly. And I think that I should go with you. Uh, no. Carly will not be straight with me if somebody else is there. I want Michael to stay here. Now, is there a chance that you could get called to the hospital? I can make sure that doesn't happen. Now, Bobby, I'm trusting you. Not to call Carly. To stay here and make sure Michael does, too. Do I have your word? You do. Thank you. Miss Davis, I'll be in touch. I really think that I should go with you. No, thank you. I didn't see anybody out front. I think... Probably safer to go through that. Okay. Bye.